There are many people who have asked if drinking is a sin. When you look at the Bible, there are many scriptures of the dangers of drinking in excess. But when it comes to drinking in itself, there is nowhere in the Bible that talks about drinking being a sin. In the same way where people can say that drinking is what leads to drunkenness and drunkenness is what the Bible calls a sin or being a drunkard is what the Bible calls a sin. So even though people say that drinking can lead to drunkenness, it is the same way that eating can lead to gluttony. And actually the Bible says that gluttony is also what is also a sin. But the fact that gluttony is a sin does not mean that when you eat, eating is also a sin. However, there are a few things you need to look at when it comes to the issue of alcohol. And one of them is the harmful effects of alcohol. Alcohol. You see, alcohol is such that it has caused so many of the accidents, the road accidents we have seen in our world. It has caused a lot of the domestic abuses we have seen in our world. It has caused a lot of misbehavior in public. It has caused a lot of people's health to deteriorate. So some of these examples or some of these harmful reasons are the reasons why people even do not want to drink alcohol at all. But when you look into the Bible, there are certain things you begin to realize from the Word of God. I will take this opportunity to take you through a few scriptures so that you can understand what the Bible is clearly saying about the issue of drinking or the issue of alcohol. Let us take our first scripture from the book of Matthew chapter 11 verse number 19. Matthew chapter 11 verse number 19. The Bible says that the son of man came eating and drinking and they say, behold, a man glutinous and a wine biber, a friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. Now this is a very interesting scripture. Jesus says that when he came, he was eating and he was drinking, yet they called him a glutinous person, they called him a drunkard, a wine biber, but now this tells you that even Jesus was eating and Jesus was drinking. Now of course the drink he was drinking was not necessarily uh, fruit juice or the things that people say because he couldn't have been, they couldn't have called him a drunkard if he was drinking fruit juice. It means that, that the drink he was taking should have had a certain level of alcohol in it. But Jesus himself was moderate in his drinking, he was moderate in his eating. But even then they called him a drunkard because of that. So you can establish that even Jesus drank an amount of alcohol. Now the next scripture I want us to look at is the book of Proverbs chapter 31 verse 4 to 5. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 4 to 5. The Bible says that it is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink, lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Now, this is a, an advice to the king Lemuel. And the Bible is saying that it is not for kings to drink nor to take strong drink. Not to, for, it's not for kings to drink wine, nor to take strong drink, drink to the extent that they will forget the law of pervert judgment. So it doesn't necessarily mean that kings or leaders must not drink. It is talking about the fact that they shouldn't drink to the extent that they forget the law of God or they refuse to execute the right judgment. So here again, you can see that the Bible is talking about excess drinking and not drinking, in, uh, not drinking itself. The next verse we can look at is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse number 7 the bible says that go thy way eat thy bread with joy and drink thy wine with a merry heart for now god accepteth thy works so this is a clear scripture that is saying that go and eat go and drink and the wine he's talking about there is not a fruit juice it is actually alcoholic wine but again the bible is not saying go and drink in excess it's going to it's saying that drink in moderation go and eat go and drink and be in what be in merry you understand so this is also talking about drinking but not in what not in excess let us look at another scripture first timothy chapter 3 verse number 2 to 3 the bible says that a bishop then must be blameless the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, not given to wine, no striker, not greedy or filthy liquor, but patient, not a brawler and not covetous. So you can see that even the qualification of a bishop or a pastor or a leader in the church is that the person must not be given to wine. That means that the person must not be addicted to wine. Then there's a difference between being addicted to wine and, and drinking wine. You understand me? So the Bible is even saying that a pastor or a bishop must not be addicted to wine. It doesn't mean that he shouldn't be able to do or he shouldn't be able to drink wine. It's saying that he shouldn't be what? He shouldn't be addicted to wine. And that is the point you must note here. That let us look at another scripture. It says in the book of Proverbs chapter 23 verse 20 to 21 that be not among wine bibles, among riotous eaters of flesh. For the drunkard and the gluten shall come to poverty, and drowsiness shall clothe them shall clothe a man with rags. Now the Bible is clearly talking about drunkenness and gluttony. Drunkenness and gluttony. The Bible is 
putting them together. Now, that is what I explained to you in the earlier, uh, when I was speaking to you earlier, that, you see, drinking is what leads to drunkenness and eating is what leads to gluttony. Yet, the fact that eating leads to gluttony doesn't mean that people should not drink. And the fact that drinking leads to drunkenness doesn't mean that people should not drink. Now, where you can make the distinguishing factor is where I came about with the harmful effects of these things. You see, the effects of gluttony are not as dangerous as the effects of what? Of alcohol. So even though the Bible permits that you can be able to drink a certain amount of alcohol, the effects of alcohol are so dangerous that you cannot equate the effects of alcohol to the effects of what? Of gluttony. But at the end of the day, you can't tell somebody that eating is a sin. Just like you cannot tell the person that drinking is a sin because it leads to drunkenness and that eating is a sin because it leads to gluttony. No. You can't say that. It's the harmful effects of these two that, that people can consider and make decisions on what they want to do, whether to abstain or to take little. But in excess is what the Bible is really against. Let us look at another scripture. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 20 verse 1 that wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whoever is deceived thereby is not wise. This means that wine is a mocker. Wine can deceive you. Wine can lead you into things that you, you, you have no idea about or you would, under normal circumstances, not would not have engaged yourself in them and he said that strong drink is raging it means that strong drink has certain effects on your body that on your body on your spirit on your soul that you might not even consider those effects but that is what proverbs is telling you that wine can mock you one can bring you to shame wine can disgrace you that is what the bible is saying in the book of proverbs it does not mean you see a little wine does not mock people you understand but at the end of the day it is telling that that is the potential that alcohol has alcohol has the potential of disgracing you Alcohol has the potential of bringing you towards to shame. Now let's look at another scripture. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Now here again, you can see that the Bible is talking about drunkards and not necessarily drinking. And I said earlier that even though drinking leads to drunkenness, it is not a sin to drink because not all drinking leads to drunkenness. The, pro the Bible has a problem with drunkenness and not necessarily drinking. Now, after all this, you still want to ask yourself, is it a sin to drink? No, it is not a sin to drink. But if your drinking will cause other Christians to stumble, and if your drinking can lead you to certain addictions that you cannot come out of, then you need to advise yourself on this subject. So very, very briefly, that is what I can tell you about the subject of whether alcohol is a sin or not. You are blessed.